it was a close score, but a heck of a lot better. Great job, guys. All right? We win tonight, we right? five. Now, let's win one more tonight, all right? Bring it in! Woo! One, two, three! Great Quidditch is a sport originating from Harry Potter. Everyone runs around on broomsticks, and it's a crazy combination of dodgeball, flag football, rugby, and maybe basketball. It involves a bunch of different magical balls. The snitch is a tennis ball inside of a sock tucked into the snitch runner's pants, and the seeker has to grab it, like in flag football. The three bludgers are dodgeballs that the beaters throw at other players, and the quaffle is the ball that the chasers pass to each other and try to get into the other team's hoops. The goal of the game is to get as many points as possible. When you get the quaffle through the hoop, you get 10 points, and the game ends when the seeker catches the snitch, which is worth 30 points. The snitch runner is a neutral player. He's not on either of the teams, and he's usually a track runner, so he's good at running, and he can run anywhere on or off the field, and he can do whatever it takes to keep the seekers from catching the snitch. When it's caught, it's worth 30 points and ends the game, and whichever team has the most points at the end wins. Generally, when we're playing Quidditch, we're spinning around with these brooms between our legs. It looks pretty awkward at first, and it definitely is, um, but you get used to it pretty quickly. I mean, it's just like running, only you've got, you know, a three-foot pole between your legs. These are the two balls used in the game of Quidditch. You have a quaffle and a bludger. A quaffle is used by chasers. There's only one quaffle on the field at all times, and this is the ball that you would score with. In order to score with this, you have to throw it through the three hoops, and you would receive ten points for that. Then you have the bludger. The bludger is used by beaters. There are two beaters per each team. There are three bludgers on the fields at all times. And when you get hit with a bludger, you have to take a lap behind your own goalpost to come back into play. We are looking to try and go as flashy as we could, kind of distract the other team. They're going to be too look busy looking at us. How badass we are. Yeah. Just run right past and score repeatedly. We're the chasers of America's finest Quidditch club. The three of us, we dominated the field, wearing our white headbands, taking the quaffle, and putting it through the other team's hoops. We also play an integral role on defense, so we're making sure that none of the other chasers from the other team score on us. We're beaters, and we wear black headbands. Each team has two of us on the field at one time, and we're the people throwing big dodgeballs called bludgers at people. What that does is when we hit them, they have to stop whatever they're doing and double back around their hoops. It's a great way to turn defense into offense because you can really stop the offensive, you can clog up the passing lanes, and you can get your team back, the ball back, and head back up the field quickly. Keepers usually wear green bands. Our job is to protect the three goals on our side of the pitch and to shout orders to the rest of the team because we have a better view of what goes on. I'm a seeker and there's one of me on each team on the field at a time. I'm signified by this yellow headband, and my job is to catch the snitch, which for my team earns 30 points and ends the game. I'm a snitch for the IQA, and I wear all yellow. I have this ball hanging out of the back of my shorts, and the game ends when one of the seekers catches this and gives their team 30 points doing that. Uh, I'm completely impartial. I'm not affiliated with any of the teams that are playing. So that's always fun. It gives all the seekers an even chance, uh, even though they are playing against snitches, whose goal it is to humiliate them, an even chance to get this from my shorts. A lot of people don't realize just how big the subculture of people who can perform magic really is. And you know, we go under the radar a lot. You know, you don't think Michigan State University, oh, that's where those wizards come from. You normally think of, oh, that's that football team and the basketball team. But really, it's about, it's about bringing people from across the country and across the world together to share in the love of the otherworldly abilities that we were born with and somehow, despite all scientific knowledge, still perform.